Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Cross the Line. I'm your host, Andrea Renee. You can follow me on Twitter at Andrea Renee. And don't forget to follow at Street Fighter as well. Now, last time we heard from top player Clockwork on the show in our exclusive gameplay session. In this episode, we're going to get Maximilian's take on Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I'm also going to update you guys on the Facebook contest, look at what you guys are saying in Crosstalk, and we'll be doing a giveaway too. Alright you guys, now we're going to talk about the Facebook contest. If you've been paying attention, we're in round two, that's right, Crossing is the new planking and now we're in the voting phase. That means we need you guys to go on over to the site and pick out your favorite contestants and vote for them. We're giving away lots of awesome Street Fighter swag, t-shirts, fight sticks, games, consoles, and one lucky fan is going to win the ultimate Gamer Cave. Now if you missed out on the first two rounds, don't worry, we still got a few more rounds to go. Round three, in fact, starts on December 12th, so mark your calendars. It's called War Paint, and if you want to learn all the details, make sure you head on over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash streetfighter. Now it's the time of the show, you guys, where we get into some crosstalk. That's right, this is where we look at your tweets, your Facebook posts, and your YouTube comments to see who's saying what about Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Up first, at Omar Ebbs, who tweets, Who cares about Modern Warfare 3? I'm waiting for Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Then we've got Midnight Thunderboy, who comments, I'm gonna play a Hugo Geef team and add two speed gems and three power gems, and they will be unstoppable. Then we've got Falcord, who comments, At last we can get Zangief to wrestle a bear and it's gonna be awesome and then we've got Ad Kayu Kazoo who shares this awesome cartoon Hadouken, Hadouken. Facebook contest that's happening, we're also doing our own giveaway right here on Cross the Line. I'm giving away exclusive Street Fighter Cross Tekken bobbleheads that are not sold anywhere. I mean it, you cannot buy these things. In order to win, you have to subscribe and leave a comment answering this question. Which Street Fighter Cross Tekken character would you be and who would you punch in the face? <laughs> Alright you guys, I want to see the craziest answers you can think of. The winner will be chosen at random and we'll announce it right here on the show on Cross the Line. As you guys saw in the last episode, we were also joined in studio by Maximilian along with Clockwork for the exclusive gameplay session of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I got to sit down with Max and talk to him about his thoughts about Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So let's take a look at what happened. In, in oh. previous games, you can do like a 1-2-3 combo into special. Now you're kind of limited as far as you have to go like 1-2. And the, the moves of which you're able to combo into have changed as well, like the normals. So stuff we were trying that worked in the past is a little different now. Yeah. This is why you see us like, oh, why didn't that work? Oh, why didn't that work? Oh! Oh, barely. Whoa. Oh my gosh! Oh, it hit me! <laughs> that was a pretty good amount of damage. He has like no dashes, but he seems to have pretty good. Yeah. I randomly threw something out and it hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, Andrea Renee here for Cross the Line. You know this guy, it's Maximilian. He's well known in the fighting community. He's got a YouTube page. Max, how are you doing today? Pretty good, thank you for having me. So what have you been working on recently that the folks at home may have seen you do? Well, you guys might have seen me from the Assist Me series that happened uh, a little while ago, but right now I'm trying to focus more on online gameplay. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff happening with Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Trying to give people more tactics about how to play characters, how to perform well, how to take their experience of playing online and take it offline to tournaments. 
and essentially doing parodies, having fun, uh, stuff like that. And this is all on your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, you can you can find me at youtube.com slash miles923, and um, you will see a bunch of videos related to fighting games, such as Street Fighter Cross Tekken, where I do breakdown videos covering the latest mechanics, uh, try to explain things for, for players that are already familiar with it, and just give them a breakdown of what exactly is going on. And I do the same thing for the latest trailers for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, essentially just dissecting information and trying to give someone in an easily, uh, easily consumable video form. So we know that you are an expert in fighting games, but how did you get into them in the first place? Like, when did you first start playing fighting games? It, it's hard to imagine, but I've been playing fighting games literally as long as I can remember. You can find pictures of me with a stool up at a Street Fighter II machine reaching for the joystick. Nice. And I, it's, it's been so long that they're kind of like embedded into stuff I know as a kid and it holds a ton of nostalgic memories. So uh, being able to share that passion with other people that like fighting games is almost a dream come true. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so today, the reason why you're here is because you got to get your hands on the new build yep. of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yep. First thoughts? It's, um, it's, it's, it's good, and it's changed a lot since the last time I played it. Uh, I think you might have discussed with Daniel, but it, it's from, from the last time at E3, a lot of system mechanics and changes have gone through the process, and I think it's actually for the better. Um, the old builds were a little bit broken. They were fun, but they were broken. And this time you kind of see the path they're going with Street Fighter Cross Tekken and how the characters are going to feel. So I, I do like the new build a lot, uh, especially seeing all the new characters. Uh, guys like Hugo, I think Hugo is one of the most gorgeously like animated 3D model characters like in a fighting game right now. He's really cool looking. I love his hair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, a lot of a lot of the characters look really good, and they handle really like their counterparts. Just with this new engine, they feel totally different. Well, how different? You say they feel totally different. Can you be specific in what what maybe like a specific character that you thought felt different, and why they felt different? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for example, uh, let's see. A lot of the Tekken characters, it's kind of hard to take comparisons. So I'll take like the Street Fighter characters. Hugo, for example, retains a lot of his moves from Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, where he came from. Um, but the the big difference is that the they've been changed as far as like the 3D engine and as far as how Street Fighter X Tekken's engine is, which is nothing like anything you've really played before. So it's it's learning how to relearn the characters at the same time. It's like, oh, I've seen this stuff before, but applying it now is totally different. So when you take like your comparison of your experience from Street Fighter 4, all that competitive play is definitely going to help you out. But when you have all these new system mechanics and the way new the characters, be, the, the new ways the characters behave, it's it's a whole new experience. Do you think is that is going to be really difficult for people to pick up? Uh, not especially for for the Street Fighter guys. You're going to be very familiar with how their moves go. Um, but what I what I'm really digging is that the Tekken side of the cast is extremely unique. Uh, they, they neither feel like a Street Fighter character, nor do they really feel like a Tekken character. They still contain some of their Tekken aspects, but they feel like completely new iterations of like, you know, fighting game um, kind of like personalities put into this new engine. And then you throw them into this new game and they're totally different and you have to learn all this new stuff. I think that's awesome. If anything, I wanted, I wanted the game not to be like Street Fighter 4 and for it to be really unique and it totally is. So does this mean that you're going to be changing up the characters who you normally play with to play with somebody else? Probably. I'm a pretty avid Ken user, uh, and it's going to be hard to get me to pull away from that character just because I'm I'm stupid about character loyalty and I just stick with one guy a lot of the time. That's not stupid. You uh, know, when you sink enough time into a character, you don't want to just like abandon them. It's true. It's true. You'd I, I'd feel bad if I was just to ditch the character I like playing. But counterpicking is kind of a huge thing amongst competitive play. I know that Ken does terrible against like Marduk, for example. So I would want to pick a different character in my team, but. I just deal with it. <laughs> but uh, other than that, uh, I want to learn more of the Tekken characters because the Tekken characters haven't really been uh, established yet as far as what they can do. And there's a lot of technology hidden within them, I think, that is uh, not really been exposed yet in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And hopefully, we'll see more of that down the line. I'm sure we will, most certainly. But what I did see when you were playing was a whole bunch of new different types of ways to string your combos together. Can you explain a little bit to the people who didn't get the chance to play it yet exactly yeah. what you were experiencing while you were playing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so one of the big things about Street Fighter Cross Tekken is the use of your meter. Uh, meter, I think, is really important in this game because it allows you to string your combos together by tagging in your other partner 
Um, and quite literally, you can throw out a Hurricane Kick with Ken, tag in your opponent, and the Hurricane Kick with Ken will continue. So you can actually have Which like Kazuya really awesome, yeah. run behind you, and it's like this huge assault of like two guys running at you. What are you supposed to do? And that's where a lot of the mix-up and the theory fighting potential of Street Fighter X Tekken is very uh, is 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 really good. There's so many options because the ca the cast of the roster is so big that. It, it almost hurts my brain of so much stuff you could do with these characters, so many setups you can have. I'm really looking forward to that. Absolutely. No, it was interesting you say, hurts your brain, so many options. You know what I'm <laughs> going to ask you about now? Oh, yeah. The infamous gem system. So, we got to see a little bit more about the gems and then talk about them today. Right. It, has your opinions changed about them? Do you have any feelings about them? Um, the gem system has a lot of people in a big ruckus right now, and I can totally understand where they're coming from, and they have a reason to be uh, like upset or misunderstood about what's happening. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think not a lot of people know uh, enough about the gem system to pull like really rough conclusions that this is like game breaking because no one's played it. Like it hasn't actually been in any public builds of right. Street Fighter Cross Tekken yet. So we haven't actually had the chance to see like how they're balanced. There's a lot of options for gems, like, and they've said how many options there are, but we haven't seen how those options stack up against the options of the game's mechanics. So if you put those two together, how does the, how do the gems affect the gameplay mechanics, and how do the gameplay mechanics affect how you are going to have an experience with Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Um, I just I really want to get my hands on it because I think telling people what the gem system can do and what it, uh, what you might think it's doing is a big difference. Um, and I think it could be something good for competitive play at the same time. It could be pretty interesting if you like you activated a gem and all of a sudden this guy has this power up and you might want to avoid that. So there's a whole meta game going on at the same time. It's a whole level to Street Fighter that we might not have even seen in previous games. So I'm going to reserve my opinion on the gem system right now until we actually get our hands on it and see what it can do. All right, well, I guess that's fair enough. But I do want to know, just you as a personal player, how do you think that you would utilize the gem system just based off what you know so far? So, like, there's different varieties of gems. Like, they do different things, like teching throws and, like, auto-blocking. We, we saw a couple of those in, I believe, some of the previous Street Fighter Cross Tekken trailers. Now, with those, there's actually downsides to them. Like, if you auto-block and you have this gem that does something that I would normally do, it'll take your meter away. And for the player that is more like an experienced Street Fighter player, you're not going to need that. Like, that's not necessary. It's a wasting a slot that you would use for something better, like, I don't know, speed boost. Or uh, if there's a damage gem down the line, that could potentially be something much much better right. utilized. Absolutely. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll be definitely going into the speed category. If, there, if there's categories that'll make my character faster, I'm thinking faster characters, more combo potential maybe, or more mix-up options, so... Yeah, I'm definitely theory fighting along those lines, and it hurts your brain, <laughs> but it's going to be fun. It's kind of fun to dream about, though. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So, clearly, since you got hands-on with the new build, do you have any, like, kind of things that you learn that you feel like the viewers would really like to know about, or maybe, like, a tip, like, hey, this is new, you guys should try this out when you get hands-on with it? Yeah, definitely. The um, As far as the main way of doing damage in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, a lot of the times people were playing the game before, you would see timeouts happen constantly. And the match would just go on forever, and no one could actually do damage to the other character. Uh, quite literally, you can do this new thing where it pulls in your other character if you press the heavy button twice. So you press a light, a medium, and a heavy sequence, and then press the heavy again, and your teammate is going to come in. And as that teammate comes in, if you go into like their special and you use your meter to do a team special, team specials do a ton of damage. Yeah, no, it was the end of me in a couple matches. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Who knows if it's going to change, but it seems to be worth the cost of three meters to do a multi-team special. What we didn't get to use much of was the cross assault, where you have both your characters come in. It's, it's kind of mind-boggling to, to control two characters, but when I did use it, it seemed pretty intuitive as far as how you control two unique characters on the screen. But that team special did a lot of damage, and I think that people are probably, probably going to be using that when the game comes out, because it's a very quick, easy, easy way to use your meter and do like almost 50% damage. And it's almost impossible to defend against. I, uh, I'm speaking from experience. It can be hard. It yeah. can be hard. So again, if people want to uh, find you and get in contact with you, 
ask opinions about the game or check out Assist Me, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, I think the best way would go about um, contacting me or leaving a comment on one of my YouTube videos. Believe it or not, I actually do read all the comments on my YouTube videos and I try what's to take... The, what's the exact name of your YouTube channel for you that? You can find me at Miles923, but if you also search, uh, in just in general YouTube search, if you search the name Maximilian or if you search Assist Me in YouTube, you'll find my videos and they're the first things to pop up. So. Click on any of them and you'll find my channel, and if you'd like to shoot me some questions about Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I'll definitely take into consideration for making further videos about breakdowns or character individual stuff, things like that, making, making sure people understand more about the game. All right, that does it for this episode. Big thank you to Maximilian for coming by the studio and sharing his thoughts on Street Fighter Cross Tekken with us. I want to remind you guys to rate, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. I'm Andrea Renee, and I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks right here on Cross the Line. Hadouken!